My name's Kaylee Boggan, and I'm an English major. English majors are seen as an idealist, nerdy, bookworms. So when parents hear that their child's going to be an English major, a lot of people assume that there's no money in that. I would love to know more about jobs where I could write and get paid for it. I think that would be the dream. My name is Erica Lees and I am a freelance copywriter. A copywriter is someone within advertising and often marketing who creates copy to either sell a product or communicate a message. My first impression of Kaylee was that she's just excited, eager, and open and curious about the world. So we actually have a brief for you today. We are gonna be writing a tweet, an email subject line for a company called Smoky Saber Barbecue about the new Chipotle lemon barbecue dry rub. So for the tweet, we had a smaller space and we had to also make sure that we were more conversational. Uh, maybe check this out or, oh, oh, save the flavor. Okay, great. And this is actually called Smoky Saber Barbecue. So what if we went with Saber the flavor? We used some puns. I enjoyed riffing off of her. She really impressed me when we were kind of just brainstorming. Now our next one is just an email subject line that is announcing the launch, except it's an internal company email. For the internal email, it was much more formal. So I learned that audience is super important no matter what platform you're on. What I want Kaylee to know is that whether it's copywriting or generating ideas, you can make a living writing words. Some of my fears as an English major have been if it's worth it. At one point, I was like, should I listen to my parents? Should I become a STEM major just so I can have a guaranteed job? My name is Mallory Hubline. I'm the brand manager for Helm Boots. So a brand manager is someone who communicates the message of the brand out to the public. So everything from one-on-one -on -one customer communications to creating content for emails and connecting with influencers. Hi. Hi. Today I hope to give Kaylee some inspiration and in just what all the options are out there post-college. There's so many different jobs you can do and you can really take your passion and your skills and take them in a lot of different directions. Each season, we put a different quote on the inside from a different author or poet. Our designer was an English major, and so he definitely, that's his way to sort of infuse a little bit of writing and <laughs> inspiration into each piece. That's so cool. The owner of the company was an English major, and I love that he, even if it wasn't a traditional um, English major role, he still added that element to his books, uh, to, his, to his books, to his boots. Boots and books. <laughs> So I wanted to give you a chance to write something. There's a new boot that we're about to release and uh, we're looking for different ways to promote it. So one of the ways that we promote new products is we reach out to influencers and see if they might be interested in taking photos of our boots. In the email I sent to the influencer, I tried to get him to accept the new boots that Helms had called The Holt. I'm sure lots of influencers get lots of people who reach out, so I always love to comment on something he's done recently or a post I've really connected with. So, hi Seth, I loved the post this last weekend. Writing plays a huge role in all of this. We create a product and that's very visual, but beyond that, everything we do involves writing. Okay, and send. Awesome. Wow, oh, the anticipation. Dun, dun, dun. Well, it looks like he actually just wrote back now. Wow. See what he said. I was astounded. I didn't expect him to write back. Hey, Kaylee, thank you so much for the opportunity to collaborate with you. But he did, and he accepted it, so I was really excited. From Mallory, I learned that everyone has a story, and that specifically we can use social media and influencers to tell the story through a brand. I'm Jessica Choi. I'm a book editor. A book editor helps coach authors and editors to help them put their ideas out there in the world. I'm a huge fan of like true crime. You might have some aspirations as a writer then? I do, yeah. yes. I think for me, I've always wanted to be a mystery novelist. More than anything in the world, I just want to write books. 
books and books and books. <laughs> you know, there are like so many books that come out every day in the United States, and it's a really competitive book market. Um, and one of the things that's crucial is for us to really nail a good title and a good cover, because sometimes you only have like a few seconds to be able to capture a potential reader's attention. We began to discuss the different ways she comes across a title and a cover for a book. You know, it's perfect you're here today because <laughs> I actually have a book and I'm preparing for a titling meeting and I thought if you'd like, maybe we could do sort of an initial brainstorm together. Sure, that yeah. sounds great. So Jessica and I brainstormed uh, possible titles for a new memoir that was coming out about um, a woman who has really risen in the video gaming industry. The title itself can be creative, but usually it needs to contain some kind of keyword, mm -hmm. something that is consistent in tone with what's going on in the book. What about Game Changer? From, game changer. Yeah, from garage gaming to game changer. That's perfect. When you think of books, you're like, oh, I have a book. You don't think about how it gets there. So that was a really cool opportunity. Every company needs someone like Kaylee who can really write and communicate. I've learned that you have to be willing to really put yourself out there. I was impressed with her because I like that she came and she's proactive about trying to figure out what it is she wants to do. Kaylee definitely seems like someone who's so interested in learning. She was ready to just like jump in there and kind of attack it. From today, I've learned that writing is something I will always take with me no matter what I do and I will write in every part of my life. It's gonna be there no matter what.